Can you talk about skin cancer a little bit more? What are some of the things that people need to look for um, and, and how vigilant should they be with their own skin and bodies in, in keeping an eye on things? Well, there are several types of skin cancer. The most dangerous is the melanoma. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't always rise in pre-existing moles, but it is generally in families with um, some abnormal looking moles called dysplastic nevi. If you have a family history, someone in your immediate family, um, or extended family that has melanoma, you definitely need to go to the dermatologist every year for them to look at your, your whole body, including your scalp, your toes, between your toes, every bit of skin to be sure that you're not developing a new mole or a changing mole that would be melanoma. And the signs you look for are you, in yourself at home would be uh, a change in the size or the shape or the color going red or blue or just growing rapidly. Um, and it is hard to tell a lot of times, even a trained dermatologist can't tell without um, doing a biopsy, sending it to the lab, although there are now newer techniques to help the dermatologist get an accurate mm -hmm. uh, assessment without sending off the biopsy. Okay. But, um, and then the sunspots are the little red scaling spots that most people get if they've lived in the sun. Those can go to cancers, not uh, a basal cell cancer or a squamous cell cancer they would go to. So those need to be addressed, uh, frozen off with liquid nitrogen or treated with a topical cream so that they don't progress on. Mm -hmm. But there is a genetic link though? Um, with the melanoma. With melanoma. But, uh, there is not a one-on-one, -one, you know, not a, there's some correlation. Okay. There's some correlation. It's enough so that if you have a family member that has melanoma, you should go ahead and be checked every year.